Good day, everybody. Welcome to uh, episode five of Over the Shoulder. Today we're going to be messing around in uh, Real Illusion Character Creator. So we'll be playing, uh, we'll actually be creating a character today. Um, I have a, in addition to What the Luck, um, which is the audiobook version, it will be coming out shortly. Um, a couple weeks following that, I'm going to have yet another audiobook version being released, which is uh, One Calvin. So One Calvin is the sequel to One uh, Zero Calvin, which of course is my channel name and stuff like that. A lot of people think my name is Calvin, but it actually just comes from that book. My name is Brian. So yeah, crazy, isn't it? So anyway, um, One Calvin's coming out. And in order to create some kind of promo images or video or something for it, uh, I'd like to uh, create the characters. And I actually have three of the four main characters already created for other uses. Um, so I have, this is Calvin here, this is Tarpa. So she's uh, somebody he meets uh, about 300 years in the future. And this is his old girlfriend, Bianca, from the past. We need another uh, male named Chuck, who's also in the book and kind of inserts himself into this weird trio as kind of a crazy love square thing. Um, so we need to make Chuck today, and I don't have any reference images for Chuck. Um, he's completely just in my head in a vague manner, um, which is how I actually created all three of these characters. I didn't use any reference images. Um, so a lot of most of the other characters that I create, I usually like to look at some picture and try to somewhat, um, you know, mirror that. Like uh, when I had created uh, Sakura here, I had used a, a reference image and, uh, you know, just kind of tweaked her from that. But today we're just going to be going off of my imagination. So just playing around a little bit until I see something that seems reasonable. Um, with that said, let's get into Character Creator. Now, the, we're in uh, version 3.3, .3 and they have the new skin gen uh, system, which is really cool because you can, you can create skin effects, um, the, these whole layered skin effects. So I can layer on, like, freckles and acne and, you know, imperfections and makeup and stuff like that and a bunch of layers and it'll combine them into, you know, one nice texture. The, and it looks, you know, you can see this is just the generic one that gets pulled in. And you can see even now, even though it's pretty plain, it looks, you know, pretty nice. And this is a real-time, you know, real-time rendered. Um, the problem is, I'll go to another image here. This is uh, another, this is a, another default character they give you with uh, CC 3.3. Um, and this is real-time rendered, so this is just, you know, just as quickly as this guy, you know, he's rendered in like, a, you know, a second or something. Looks fantastic, right? Um, the problem is, I usually render things in iRay. So if we try to render him in iRay, he looks like this. He looks like overcooked bacon, and he's just like, all the normal maps are exaggerated, he's extra bumpy, and extra saturated and shiny and just, he looks awful, right? Looks like a dried out hunk of bacon or something, or I don't know, just not good at all. Not good at all. Um, so you're saying, wow, I mean, if you can render him instantly, so what's the problem? Just, you know, don't use iRay. And I would agree with you, except for the fact that the rest of the scene would look like cartoonish if I don't render an iRay. So, and of course the character would be in the scene, so I have to pick, I would have to pick one or the other. So I'd either have to have a realistic looking scene with a crispy bacon character, or a nice looking character with a, you know, cartoonish looking scene. And uh, I'm sure if I apply a little thought to the problem, I can probably render the character real time and render the rest of it in iRay and composite the two and maybe going forward that might be something I'll look into um, but for today we are not going to use this spiffy new base um, especially because the, the rest of these characters 
in the scene are older base characters. There's all uh, just CC3 characters instead of CC3+. Plus. So with that said, <clears throat> we're going to load in a uh, oops, modify load neutral base CC3 place. So we're going to replace this uh, this base character with a downgraded version. Boink. Okay, so now we get this androgynous looking downgraded thingy-majiggy. And uh, it's supposed to look almost not masculine or feminine because it's a base and then you're supposed to change the uh, features from there, although it does look vaguely feminine because it has a feminine skin applied to it right now. So what I actually want to do is I'm going to go over to Smart Gallery here, and I think we want the four K CC three digital human male preset. We're under Skin and Morph, so it's going to actually change. It's going to actually basically make this thing a male character and put male skin on it. Just to give us a starting point. Uh, this way we don't have to go through a, a thousand sliders just to make it look masculine, right? We'll <clears throat> okay, so now we're there. So now it's got a male body. Um, I won't show his nether regions, although he doesn't really have anything. He's basically a, a Ken doll. Um, just so YouTube doesn't, uh, the algorithms don't freak out. I'm going to show down below. Um, so anyway, this is a good starting point, I think, and I think the body is, uh, you know, reasonable, and his skin texture is reasonable. Um, I don't like the head at all, though. So if we go over to the uh, morphs we go to currently use, we'll see that there's two morphs applied. There's his body and then there's his head. And if we dial them back, we see that it goes back to, you know, just being that generic base again, except it has the skin of a male on it. So we want him to have the male body. I don't think we want the uh, this guy's head, though. Um, so let's go over to full head and... I think I saw that the Kevin head is pretty good, but I don't like it all the way. So if I were to push this all the way, hmm, doesn't look so good. But I think, you know, around like the 50% mark, I think that's a real strong starting point for our character. So this is kind of overblown. So we want him a little boyish, you know. So, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking definitely right around this mark here, around yeah, 52, 50. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it 50 just to keep it simple. Um, I think that's a good starting point, and honestly. Since I only have a vague notion of this character in my head, that's probably pretty good. But, you know, we'll play around a little bit more just to see. Um, let's put some clothes on him and put some hair on him and stuff so we can show the rest of the character. Um, yeah, let's do that. So, Smart Gallery. Uh, la, 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 la. We want clothing. We'll get him... Uh, I guess we'll get him, get him some shoes first. Everybody needs shoes, right? Uh, let's just get him a pair of sneaks. Probably don't need the high detailed version. Okay, get him some pants. Jeans A. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> Uh, 
and we'll get him some get him a shirt that's skirts not shirts I don't think we want a skirt um, I think I have a t-shirt get the high resolution and he's got a t-shirt so now we can see him a little better go to the scene and uh, we'll actually name him so we'll name him Chuck and we'll click on subdivision just to keep everything super smooth looking probably don't need it for the rest of his stuff just yet um, what I do want to do is save this now file save project as uh, let's call it Chuck. Chuck one. Easy enough. All right, so Chuck one. Chuck one needs some hair. So we'll give him some hair. And I think the short hairs look just dandy on him. He's got some shaggy hair now. Now I notice this t-shirt's kind of not working so good. There's various ways around that. But this is, uh, you can go over here to conform. In the modify panel, go to conform and I can like increase the size and play with collision and everything, but it's really gonna be iffy. So the, the best way to fix something that's this bad is actually just to, in the Modify panel here, go to Edit Mesh. And then we're going to zoom in on the area. Um, I usually use Sculpt. You notice I don't see a cursor because I had the Move tool. Make sure you click on the select tool again, and then you'll get the actual little thing here. Probably want to make this a little bigger. Actually do pretty big right here, because we just want to do big sections, I think. Um, and we're on pull. So this is going to, when we click, it's going to pull out the t-shirt a little bit in the area. So we can kind of just keep clicking on the problem areas. Make sure it looks natural. And it'll puff out his t-shirt a little bit. If I hold down control, I can then still use my, uh, as if my move tool is selected. And I can rotate and slide things around. You just click that a couple times. And that fixes our t-shirt. And just look around. Think he's good everywhere else. So now we click Edit Mesh again, and it'll get out of that. And his t-shirt is fixed. So that's uh, a good way to fix poke through problems, I think. So I'll save that again. We're making good progress already, right? So let's play around with his face a little. And at this point, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Um, I think he's pretty good. I think maybe we maybe we'll play around with his eyes. Eyes make such a difference to a character. We'll play around with different eye types and stuff. Um, yeah, let's just play a little at this point. So uh, we're going to leave him saved as Chuck1 in case we just want to revert back. And I'm going to do a project save as, and I'm just going to do a Chuck2 now. I'm going to go over here to the morphs. And we got like a million morphs. We don't care about body for now, but we do care about head. So we have two different heads. We have the stock head morphs, and then we have the ones that are actually included with um, 
with headshot so I have the headshot plugin as well and it's it's daunting the amount of different little morphs that I have it's literally thousands but we'll start with the basic ones for now um, so let's go to the general his eye scale I think I like his eye scale I don't think we want him to have beady eyes. I mean, I generally like the way he's looking already. Maybe we'll play with the eye shape a little bit. <clears throat> so, let's see. Let's play with eye angle a little bit. Could make him droopy. Oh, I'm so sad. We can. Make him like that. Yes, yeah, so you can play with the eye angle. I think a little bit of angle. Yeah, apparently not much, but uh, yeah. let's see. So normally this is a, a little more straightforward, well, somewhat more straightforward if I'm trying to match against a some kind of reference image, but since I'm just kind of messing with stuff inside my head, it's, uh, eh, it's a little, a little different. <clears throat> so let's do his, uh, his eye depth, I think, is all, always an important thing. So his eyes aren't that deep, meaning it doesn't have, they're not set in sockets very much, so I can play around with eye depth and we can kind of give them like you know either they really poke out or they really stick in so that's fully stuck in gives his face a little bit more depth to it from his profile if I go back to zero, you see that's how he was before. So I think actually I actually like I think I actually like him having some eye depth. Maybe not quite that much. Maybe maybe around here. I think that looks good. So a lot of this, you know, character design when it's just uh, in your head is choosing random sliders and just moving them around. Um, to their extremes and then picking ones somewhere in the middle of where you like it and uh, you know that works with the rest of the character so that's looking good his nose how do we want actually we like his do we like his uh, general face shape I mean that's an important aspect I actually do like this because he's um, He's kind of half, in my mind, he's half, you know, he's in his 20s, he's mm, somewhat athletic, like half athletic, maybe, but a little bit, uh, maybe a little nerdy, a little awkward. So this guy looks probably not nerdy enough, but um, I think that's fine. We'll keep playing. I mean, he looks a little bit like a pretty boy to me. But that's good because he's kind of the um, it's kind of the competitive love interest uh, or what do, what, do, what do you call that? Um, yeah, words are escaping me right now. But um, his Girlfriend is basically, you know, torn between him and, and this guy in, in the book, so. Uh, rival. Rival. That's the word. Rival. Yeah, I write for a living. You can tell I'm good with words. Yeah, so uh, he's his rival. So we want him to look a little bit attractive, you know. Um, man, I almost think he's pretty good like that. I think he's pretty good with that. We might want to darken up his lips. They look a little pale, and we're going to change his t-shirt to a different color, probably. I'm going to save again for now. 
Let's see. Eh, let's keep playing. What the hell? Let's keep playing. Do we want to... We can do general... General head shapes. Full head. We can mix in other characters, or we could do kind of general head shapes. We can make them heavy. Brr, there we go. There's a love interest right there. Hunka hunka burning. Love right there. All right, maybe not. Face angle. So he's pretty flat faced. We can angle his face. Can make him like Neanderthal. I guess Neanderthal is like that. No, that's uh. Wow. Okay. So that would make him look dorky enough, eh? Hey, there we go. Yeah. I don't know if I want that. Man, I kind of already like him. So probably not much I'm gonna do. Let's see what a square face looks like. Yeah, I think that's gonna make him a square face. Is gonna make him older and more. Uh, I don't think we want that. I don't think we want strong jaw, a super strong jawline like that. And a round face is going to make him kind of too boyish and pudgy. And I don't think we want any round face action. We can make him an old man. Uh, nah, I think general face types we won't mess with. We can play with his cheeks. We can um, bring out his cheekbones a little, maybe. So that would be depth. Give him some more, some stronger cheekbones, perhaps. You can see it better from the side when I adjust it. So that's his cheekbones, right? Give him a little bit bigger cheekbones. That's not too bad. We could change the height of them too. Um, so that's 50% ish. All right. So let's just look at them both ways. So that's with 50%, and now zero. So, I actually like them better with some cheekbones, I think, right? Yeah. I like them better with some cheekbones, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, he's looking, he looks a little more rugged that way. A little less boyish. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. He's still supposed to be a young looking, sort of like Calvin, because Calvin in, in in the earlier books, you know, in the beginning of one Calvin, is, should still look fairly young. So I think he's got to look around the same. So we're going to bail on, the, on that. I think we still want him to look like a boy. You know what? I think, I think this is fine. I think this is fine for Chuck. Call me lazy, but uh, I actually like this. So, so let's let's save him, and we'll just go into other things. Um, he's, I don't think he's going to have blue eyes though. I don't picture. Ooh, did I mention the eye color of Chuck in my books? I would have to research that. I don't believe I described him too much. I would have to look into that. Um, in my head, he has, I think he probably has brown eyes. I don't think we want to have blue eyes like Calvin. I think brown eyes. Um, so let's go to materials. And I got to figure out the digital human eyes. It's always different. Um, Textures. 
can never quite remember how to adjust because every character type is slightly different as far as how you change everything. Um, I thought I could change the color here, but I guess not. thought I could. I mean, honestly, actually, we could change. I think there are eyeball types. Aren't there? Somewhere inside here? I. Yeah. We could do that. Let's just do that. Target object. Let's just do material. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to see what that looks like in eye ray. I mean, it looks a little light to me. Maybe a little darker. Yeah, that's good. Let's see what this looks like eye ray rendered. So we're just going to do that. Hopefully this doesn't crash everything. <laughs> Let's just eye ray render real quick. Hopefully this won't take long. Hang tight. It should load up in just a second. There we go. So... It looks pretty good, I think. See all these white things just because it takes a while to render. But, um... Yeah. I mean, the lighting is weird in this. and the, We're just using the, the default lighting here in, in the character creator. There's, so it's just... Uh, the lighting could be better, but I think that looks pretty good. We can try them with the lighter eyes. Let's pause and uh, try them with the lighter eyes. Now, theoretically, I can hit play again. And it should load in again now with the lighter eyes. Yeah. Uh, I think I like them better. I think I like them better. Yeah. We're going to go with the lighter eyes. Now, he does need... I think he needs darker lips. They're kind of like feminine color lips. I think they need to be a little bit darker. So we're, let's address his lips next. Cool. Dope. Save that. Let's address his lips. So go back to the material. His head. Now I don't know. So if we were using the you know skin gen thing, I could um, just change his lip color easily. But I believe. Uh, with this base, I actually just have to modify the base color. So for that, we're going to have to go over to, uh, we're going to launch the texture. So this is going to send that texture map to a temporary location, or put it in a temporary location and open up in my editing software. And uh, since I'm a poor boy, i got to use Paint Shop Pro instead of Photoshop. And we just want to like select and change the color of his lips. So let's try to do that. Go to the lasso. We're going to over select a little bit. Kind of on the blurry part here. Okay. Hopefully that'll be okay. We'll find out. And we're going to go over the color swap, color change. And uh, this actually might be a reasonable color already. Let's try it out. So, yeah, if I just 
click on a color here, it should try to swap out one for the other. Now it looks a little darker now already. And since we have that selected, it won't affect the reds and the rest of the, or the pinkishes colors and the rest of the, the map. So now if I go save again, and we just save right on top of that temporary file. And boom, it updates. Now he has redder lips, and I think that's not good looking. Not really what we want. We just wanted slightly darker. I don't know if that's really super great. So we're going to undo. Undo. There we go. Save again. I just want to look at that. So that's. I wonder if we can just darken it. Um, no, because if I do that, it's going to darken around there. I think we got to use this method. Uh, well, revert back. Uh, okay, let's just play around. That's too saturated. Can maybe desaturate a little bit. <laughs> no. This is tougher than it probably should be. Wow. Um. Yeah, so, no, it's definitely not, not what we want. Definitely not what we want. Um, This is, uh, this is tricky, 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 tricky. Yeah, so how do you get that perfect <laughs> lip color, eh? I'm sure a lot of women have that problem with lipstick, right? But the problem is with a guy, you don't want him to look like he's wearing lipstick, right? So it needs to be skin tone-ish and then slightly red actually maybe I can do something like that maybe I can just take his skin and then no yeah, maybe I can just take his skin color and then redden it up a little bit. <clears throat> so just shift this towards the red a tad. Mm, okay, we're going pink. More to the red. Mm, just for laughs, let's just see what that looks like. I think we want to reset. And then choose there. So right now it looks like that. That's the one before. And that's probably going to look similar already. So, But maybe that's not a bad thing. Because then we'll have a... Yeah, so that actually looks similar to what we have already. So if we keep reddening it, then we might be right where we need to be. So let's just keep reddening it a little bit. And save. 
Keep going. Oh, you know what? The stupid thing is, it's not like changing. I'm, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I gotta go like that. Click there. Yeah, I'm, I'm such a dope. I am such a dope. Let's try this one more time again. Tricky, 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 so tricky. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, you know? I completely don't know. Completely don't know. It's so difficult to do this. It would be nice, usually I could see a live update, but this won't live update on us, which is just annoying. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of annoying. Very annoying. Hmm. Yeah, it's clear I have no understanding of how to do a lip colors. Sorry for all the this, this time we're taking on this, but I just uh, this just eludes me for some reason. Just eludes me. I would think go to skin tone, and then bounce to slightly red. Would be the way to roll, right? You would think. You would think. Yeah, and then desaturate, but desaturation doesn't work well. And I don't want to do, I don't want dark lips, right? Because that doesn't work either. Should it be pale? Uh, I don't know. It's so tough. We might just have to leave his lips alone. Kind of uh, bums me out that I can't. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it really bums me out that I can't uh, I can't do that. <sighs> Somebody's calling me. So, you would think also maybe I could sample a color here, although it's tough to pick one. I guess I guess if I picked this, right? And then if I did that, and then we want more red, so if I added more red to it, 
right, 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 and then did the color changer thing, and went whammo there. Ah, oh, that's how we can do it. Okay. That's the way to roll, people. Okay, I just gotta use my head a little bit. I'm gonna save that out. And now he has redder lips, but that's probably too much. So if I undo, undo, go back to here, let's try this, just be subtle with it. Just a little more red. Oops. Ah, okay, so the idea is just be subtle. So that works. Just darker lips. That's all I wanted in life, a slightly redder, darker lips. God. All right, that actually took longer than making the whole character itself. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, save. And we're done here. Yeah, yeah. Upselling me. Okay, fixed his lips. So, yeah, sample the color in the middle. Add a little red. Paste it back to the middle. That's the way we change the lip color. Easy. Cool. T-shirt color. Dare we try t-shirt color now? Why not, right? Now the t-shirt, again, we have the problem. I want it blue, I think, of course. Um, the problem is the writing. Actually, it might be okay, because the writing is white. We'll try a cheat way first. So I could go here to adjust color. And I could play with the hue. And I can make it blue. Since the white the writing is white anyway, it's gonna stay white, which is cool. So otherwise I'd use the color replacement thing again. But uh, you know, we don't have to do that, so that's cool. This one it's uh, darker. And darker blue. That looks cool, right? Or do we want it even darker? Play with the contrast so the uh, writing's brighter again. Mm. I think that's good for now. Cool. We have made a character in character creator. Right. Try to get him better jeans. Not sure I look like that faux corduroy look to him. I don't know. I don't have many pants, unfortunately, for my guys. Let's see. Pantsu's. And we can get them those bad, like, bad boy ripped up jeans. Actually. Get them the bad boy material. Okay. Yeah. Um. Nah. Get him some leather pants. <laughs> Are they supposed to be leather? Not quite sure. We'd have to IRA render it to be. I mean, they look pretty leathery to me, though. I don't know about that. I don't think we want them in Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Put them in some yoga pants. <coughs> I don't know. I don't have many. Uh, I don't have a lot of clothes for my characters, unfortunately. Um, yeah, oh, we're just going to go with the stock blue jeans, I think, for now. What is Calvin wearing? Oh, I know, Calvin's wearing green pants that I made him. He's not even... I don't even have that rendered, though, in that shot. So, um, I think these blue jeans are fine for now. So let's pose him real quick. Or let's just say, let's throw him in a pose real quick. 
Um, Yeah. So that's our Chucky. Let's see what he looks like in an IRA, just for laughs. And then I think we'll call it a day. I think we've done pretty good today. We've made a character. sort of kind of from scratch so there we go there is Chuck everybody hello Chuck I think he looks pretty good certainly looks like a character looks reasonable he looks kind of uh, I think he looks all right yeah he looks not too young not too old kind of athletic a little bit like kind of an ass which he kind of is ever so slightly no. or quite a bit later on in the book yeah I think that looks good yeah he's uh he's looking good oh one thing I did miss oh one thing I do have to do with him right this default character is super tall right now um, taller than even tarpa so we want him on par with on cap but on par with Calvin we're pretty close to Calvin so if we go to body and height start typing in height character height and uh, bigger number is actually smaller here and I found out if I do 30 it's just going to knock him down to the right height. So that's all we really want there. So now we can save him and he'll be the correct height. So that's good. Uh, who is? Shoes don't seem to fit. What's up with these shoes, brah? Shoes don't fit. Um, I may just do the... Shoes conform bump up the size a little bit bump this stuff up a little bit calculate collision that'll fix them we might not even need to bump up the size calculate collision yeah that'll, that'll fix the shoes a little bit we don't have to do the edit mesh method cool there we go. Now we're now we're better. He apparently has some big feats. Cool. All right, Chuck, you are made. Congratulations, Chucky. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little character creation session. I'll catch you again later in the next over the shoulder. Bye. This video brought to you by BrianKramerBooks.com. BrianKramerBooks.com for all your humorous science fiction needs.